Okay, so there's a player over here somewhere, waiting. There's an airdrop coming in. There's a scav on my left. There's a player in that building. I hate this. I think I just dropped a player. I did just drop a player. Oh my god. Oh my god, what a player. Damn. That's a big win. Holy sh Look at this thing though. Holy hell. Look how many mods it's got on it. This is ridiculous. Hello everybody, welcome back to Escape from Taco of Hardcore Season 3. We're on to episode 4 now, I believe. Is that right, chat? Tell me things, tell me the things, tell me lies, sweet little lies. We're heading back to customs, we just got a really sweet player kill. Uh, we're taking the same kit we just got, we did a quick extract, and we're going to try our very best to get into the dorms, get the key, and get out with the pocket watch. But it is proving to be a bit more of a challenge than I would have initially anticipated. It looks like the Halloween event is a bit less certain than I thought. Someone's got to find and kill Zarachi in order to trigger the ritual. So it doesn't seem like it's always gonna happen, but hopefully we don't get zarachi ourselves. It's time to get serious. It's time to, no, oh, motherfucker, put me on the other side of the map. Never mind. this is a fine spawn. A fine spawn for a fine gentleman. It's not really ideal. That's pretty good. I'll take that. I'm pretty happy with all of that. Mmm, any goodies over here for me? Really, nothing under the giving tree. Never seen that before. That's a new kind of brutal. Okay, this on its own is honestly worth extracting with. But it depends, we'll have to just- we're just gonna wait a few minutes to see which way we're running. Maybe the extract's always the same, maybe it's always crossroads. Which, if that is the case, then leaving that side would be- that'd be a pretty stupid system. I would hope it would be dynamic. Okay, what do we got over here? Again, a whole bunch of nothing on the spawn table. So pretty much anything in the game can spawn here. We we, drew, we rolled low, I guess, on that one. Um, if you can't be the first, the dorms be the last. But with the current event, I don't know if we can make it to dorms and back without getting killed. I think Sarachi's in here. Because of the amount of fighting we heard their previous raid. Let's see if we can get a player kill over here. Hello? Hello? Hello, how are you? Hello, no grenade, sorry, sorry. Do you want to be friends or not? Nah? We're fighting this one out. Friendly, friendly? Okay. Yes, yes, sir. Hello. Are you doing setup? Or bullshit? You are very scary, my friend. That man had a suppressed shotgun chat. I don't think we pushed that. So he's, he has to get player kills, I don't trust. Like the quest he's on is to get player kills and he just closed the door. Maybe he's leaving, maybe he's leaving. You know, benefit of the doubt. Like if he's wearing a, if you see somebody with a suppressed shotgun wearing a Ushanka on customs, that's that hat he was wearing, you walk the other way because uh, they are doing a player kill quest. It's called, it's not Silent Calibre, it's the other one. Setup? I think it's setup, right? It's the name of the quest. The gaslighting never left. <laughs> You're crazy if you think the gaslighting left. Ooh! I think I have 50 armor piercing rounds with this particular piece of material. I think our friend just died. Somebody just died. 
fewer than half. Not worth using. I think we stick with the SKS. It's semi-auto, but it's 35 round mag. So he's he's uh, someone over here. I wonder. Miles, you should try give Clone Hero a try. Would love to see some of that hand-eye coordination. Clone Hero? What's this about? I saw from Sheaf's YouTube video about the event. He had a ZB11 as the only extract. Oh. Did he have the key? Okay. Oh, sorry. ZB11's on this map. I'm stupid. There's a player here. I think I can ambush them if I'm, if I'm smart about this. We just gotta get him at just the right moment. If he goes back to loot that scab, we can drop him. I'm trying to listen. Honestly, I think I should go down. Oh, he got me. Damn it, I winged that dude. There were two of them. Damn it, there were two of them. Oh, they were duos. He got me. I winged that guy at the back there a couple times. I got him. Oh. You know what we could do? Let's get extra spooky with it. Let's go ass naked to factory. Plays Tarkov, but won't play RuneScape. Yeah, because, like, Tarkov has stuff going on. You're not just, like, going... You know? Which is what I'm literally about to do. Don't at me. Oh lord, they coming. Let's get this out on a tray. Thank you very much, Carlos, for the subscription. Okay, the way you the way we do this is you go in here and you wait for them to come and open a door. Then you blast them. Gonna right click him in the head. Oh, here he comes. You ready, chat? Just like that. That's how it's done, baby. That's how it's freaking done. Okay, we got a bandage. And it's deathly silent, too. Let's change that. Oh, dude, I'm about to die. Eat the damn herring. My energy was at 13%. No one told me. You got it right the first time? Okay. Magali. Teleports behind you. Hello there. General Kenobi. That door just is... Why are all the doors disappearing on me, chat? What have you done? Which one of you was it? Shut up. Um... It's ah! Alive! God, that's terrifying. Okay, I really don't need the Dorms 206 key. We only need one of those. I do need nuts. These. We've been doing pretty well on Factory. We have not been doing well elsewhere. You'd think Factory would be busier with this event going on. I'd imagine more people, like, kind of trying to hide a bit. Ooh. Hell yeah, dude. 
I say we do do some factory farming until the end of the stream. Because going to customs now is very, very um, sus. I, I, I lost that fight fair and square. Reporting that man was, uh, that was rage and I'm ashamed. But uh, some of those have been a bit sus. Okay, this is a full auto shotgun. I feel like we should use this rather. Scav on my right. It was the boss of factory. Um, you gotta aim legs. Uh, I panicked and left clicked too soon. Uh, I don't think I had enough shots to even kill him with the legs. We did do 200 damage to body and we hit seven shots. Um, yeah, you gotta, you gotta shoot him in the toes, which did not happen there. Freaking scythed me, reaped my soul. A bit more than a scav? Yes, yes indeed. Uh, a somewhat more than a scav. Oh, again? We go again? Listen, we lost nothing? Okay, I'm doing the exact same thing, chat. Uh, now Korea is, you know, it's an economic powerhouse. It is very fascinating to me in that, like, their economy has exploded, but their culture has in some ways not quite matched pace. Uh, which is what you normally see with countries. Like, as they experience rapid economic growth, they also experience rapid cultural growth. And Korea's culture is kind of very similar to what I've read it being like in, like, the 80s and stuff. Okay, well, I wasn't going to be meleeing him as a player. We go back. We run it. I'm not even going to count that bet. I don't think the bets were even closed by the time we died. Okay, you know what? Let's try and learn from our previous mistakes. There's a pistol guy who spawned to my right here. See if we can get him on the corner here. I need them to rush me around this corner. Because they'll pause and slide and then I can whack him. I hear something. Let's try this. These are bad spawns for what we're trying to do here. The best spawn you can get... ...is actually... ...the one in the middle. In my opinion, anyway. The one we got in the first place, that was uh... That's not gonna cut it, boys. Come on, come on. Nope. Give me a gun. Come on, come on. Come on, that could be something. Nope, that could be something. Nope. I don't think we're getting something here. Nope. Okay, now we go, maybe we, we go, we go try and sneak somebody else's uh, dinner. Okay, so there goes the pistol boy, which means he's left behind a wake of violence. No! <laughs> Fucking swan died. <laughs> that dude just won't turn around and swacked me. Oh my god. Uh, okay, one more. Bietbur, GG, brother. That was a good kill. So I'm going to do one more, and then we'll go do something different. So, pro tip, if you want to sound like a native speaker, do not learn to speak the native language from four-year-old children. Just... Oh, fuck, are you kidding me with the spawn, dude? Listen. Tarkov's on notice. Okay, we're gonna sit here until someone comes to us. And I, I'm not going out there. This is my new house. This is where I live. You live here? Time to decorate? Okay. 
Let's see what sparks joy. Unused mining helmet? This does not spark joy. Uh, trash pile on the floor, but... Vector laboratory equipment? This sparks joy. Male living spaces be like? Now, see, me personally, I would take this... And I would put it on that wall, so that when you open the door, you don't have- you're not immediately greeted with your own open storage. The propane tank's kind of hard to fit them around. I would, if I could. I'd maybe, like, cut them in half, use them to sort of line this wall here, bit of like a decorative industrial look. Now listen, the pile of metal scrap trash, that's free tetanus. You don't just get that anywhere else, okay? You gotta work to get tetanus in most places, so that's staying right where it is. The large cardboard crate dominating the center of the room. Me, personally, I'd put that boy in the corner over there. But I also understand if maybe you want to use it as a conversation piece. You walk in, what do you see? The first thing you notice, you notice the hard hat, you notice the wooden box. And maybe somebody asks you why it's there. Maybe now you're having a conversation. Hey, maybe you just made a friend who walked into your house without inviting, without, without being invited. So I would hope you're making a friend and that the situation is not... Um, uh, one which you really hope wish you weren't holding a hatchet and were maybe holding a handgun. <laughs> this peak Tarkov gameplay? Honestly, this might be better than the base game. Now look, I don't think there's much you can do about the industrial piping. Industrial lighting's a little bit- it's in vogue at the moment, but this- this is just- that's- that's asking for dust. You're asking- to, you're gonna get spiders up there. I don't even want to know what the cleaning bill's gonna be like when you move out, if you're renting. We have a guest. Yes, come to me. All your gunner belong to me. That's why you wait for good things to come to you, chat. All you impatient boys out there, you would have rushed out, not me. I understand the systems that run the world, okay? I got Feng Shui on lock. Okay. Now let's see anybody come in and talk about my damn wooden crate. Okay, now this trick, this is the part that I've been getting wrong up until now. The trick is to just not walk into the scav boss and immediately die. That might be the st step A. Step B is get more stuff. Step C, have fun. But we are playing Tarkov, so let's not get ahead of ourselves. I don't have body armor. I think we stay in the tunnels. Ow. Oh no! My bones! They're broken! <laughs> Un God, what a what a what a what a meme that was. Golden era. Somebody's running at me. I might need this grenade quickly. Give me an impact grenade. Oh don't it's gonna be a smoke grenade, isn't it? Yep. That's the Gilla. That's the Gilla. That smile. That beautiful smile. Give me a Salewa. I am in grave danger, chat. Ah! He shot me through the wall? Okay, I didn't know that was an option. I thought I was gonna go close the door and then he'd have to rush me and then we could do something. Ah, double Tagilla. Double Tagilla. Is there, is there like a 100% chance for him to spawn? Also, damn, we did a lot of damage to his legs. Okay. So, 
Forget all of this. Clearly today's not the day. We started off strong as hell. We have been getting to Gillard though. I just want to check here. Tarkov Halloween event to Gila 2023. It's a 30% chance he spawned. So maybe we just got unlucky. It's very possible, right? Oh, he's normally so easy to get, man. I just can't. I've just got the wrong guns. We had this on us. That might have been a different story. Oh, and these are those AP bullets we had for that MCX. Those damn players got me. I have one, two, three, four, five, six weapons left. So we're not zeroed out yet. We've still got options. We've still got a lot of options, to be honest. That recoil's silly. 48. That's just yucky, man. That's too much, man. How much that growl giving you? Plus 15? That's insane. Almost tempted to strip this thing for parts. Here's the strat. You're gonna love this one. Okay? I know you, chat. I know you deep down inside, you're gonna love this one. We got a reserve. Okay? And we make a name for ourselves. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, how close am I, Patrick? <laughs> how is the subathon gonna work with your power? The place I'm staying in right now does not experience load shedding because we are right next to a major government building. So, uh, hashtag corruption, they just don't turn us off. Um, because it's too much hassle to rewire themselves. I'm gonna die. I gotta wait a second. There's gonna be a man running left to right there. Okay, now we go. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm going to perish. I'm going to die. I'm gonna die, 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 I'm gonna die. Oh, there he is. Literally, there's the guy. He was running to the right. They... Tark Tarkov desperately needs varied spawn locations, man. This shit is ridiculous. Okay. Uh, we should definitely get some snacks before we go down into the bunker. And then we should try and kill some raiders. If we die, we die. C'est la vie. There's the peas. There's the squash. Okay. Call that lunch. Okay, we just gotta get lucky with a player kill here, chat. That's the dream, okay? I need to focus up now. Gotta get lucky with a player kill. Oh, just missed a voice call from Aisha. Okay, hold on. I need a. Sorry about this one, boys. I gotta hide in the corner here and take a phone call. There's a scab on my right, I think. Two of them. One on the left, I didn't see him. Did 256 damage to body? That man should not have lived through that. Oh my god. I am, like, seriously pushing the red line on time here today. So I think we're gonna have to call it there. Bit of an odd start to hardcore. We had, like, a really quick ramp up, and then the Halloween event kicked our ass back down into the ground. So, to everybody who's been watching these ones live, thank you so much for hanging out today. I really, really appreciate you spending time with me. It's always a pleasure to uh, see you. Uh, and otherwise, we are going to see you all in the next one. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Escape from Tarkov Hardcore Season 3. I will see you next time. Cheers. Bye-bye, everybody. Cheers. You made it to the end of the video. Congratulations and thank you. That puts you in the top eh, 3% of viewers. Here's another video that YouTube thinks you're going to like, and here is a list of all the patron and channel member names. If you don't see yours on there, you can find a link down in the description where you can sign up and support this content directly. Uh, if your name is on there, well, you probably already know that, huh? So, um...
What are you still doing here?